love Ghana is your Nigerian get pleasure bringing you political news in our channel Ghana too. Let's show you so many of the happenings in Ghana. Please switch. If in all of these, Mr. Speaker decides to resolve, what should I do? I should go and sit on the minority seat. Spiritually, it's not even good. You have three weeks to election. I should go and sit on minorities. Is that my seat? I won't dare sit there. I will never do it. I will never do it. That's not my rightful place. I should go to minority. Spiritually, make myself a minority person. No. And bind my colleagues. We won't do that. No MPP person will do that. In any event, we were privy to certain things that we cannot make public. That if our colleagues had entered the chamber to attempt to enforce their rights, perhaps we wouldn't be here. So in fact, we are decent-minded people. Yes. We respect the court. We respect the law. Our doors are open to Mr. Speaker's call. I repeat, our doors are open to Mr. Speaker's call. Political decisions are for common sense approach. We believe in a common sense approach in solving this. And the common sense approach is for Mr. Speaker to direct the NDC side to go back to their seats. I don't want to follow procedure and law. Mr. Speaker, don't be tempted, Mr. Speaker. Don't be tempted. The law he relies on sits on stilt. I repeat, there's a proper petition. Let's wait for its admissibility. Because that has been done by a lawyer. Who knows the rules? Harun Edrisu is a respected lawyer. And we know that. Yes. This is a lawyer's rule. You know that. I'm a coffee boy. This is done by a lawyer. If it's issues about tax and economics, I will yield to Atu Fawcett. On this occasion, it's law. It's law. So let's go by the Harun Edrisu petition. That is the right procedure. But even so, that, that petition will be caught by the court process. You cannot proceed. You should know this. And you want to mislead, Mr. Speaker. My duty as a leader of government business, my duty as a majority leader, my duty as a majority leader is to guide Mr. Speaker. I remain so. It will not change today. It will not change tomorrow. Mr. Speaker, this process has been duly filed. I have the writ with me. Not only the writ, it's not a naked writ, it's not a lame writ, Mr. Speaker. I also have accompanying the writ a motion or notice for interrogatory injunction, which is also a tight writ. The process, Mr. Speaker, has been duly served on Parliament, as I'm made to believe. Mr. Speaker, I am of the view that this is not a matter that anybody can just get up and say that by virtue of a member filing a process to say that I am going to contest in a future election as an independent candidate, automatically I have lost a seat. Mr. Speaker, let me take members back to memory lane. In the 1960s, the First Republic, where, Mr. Speaker, there was cross carpeting in Parliament, 69 constitution and 79 constitution safeguarded the process where political parties were to be protected, and 1992 constitution also adopted that provision. Mr. Speaker, it is therefore important for members to understand that practically you cannot say that once a member is on, belongs to a caucus and has not resigned his membership of the caucus, the mere fact that he has filed to participate in future elections under a different ticket is caught by a certain provision of the Constitution. Mr. Speaker, I hold my view. I've heard other views contrary to this. That is the more reason why we require patience for this matter to be properly determined by the courts. We require patience for this matter to be properly determined. Somebody cannot, somebody cannot say that, oh, there is a certain precedence. So relying on that precedence, 
and the other 93, Mr. Speaker should just make a declaration. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, this application, so-called, is leading you into a certain valley of, of confusion. It's a trap being set for Mr. Speaker for his long years in legal practice. Yes, because you simply want Mr. Speaker to make a declaration, a declaration which will have far-reaching consequences. In any event, a man must be heard. The rule, all the autumn pattern rule, the rule is clear. A man cannot be brought to judgment unless he's been heard. If you claim, then it was bad law. If I will continue to correct you. Stop misreporting. Mis I am the majority but, 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 leader. No more say. No You've been saying it consistently, and I've been correcting you. The court has pronounced from describing me as leader of MPC. Come back, come back. Say the right thing. There you have it. I like that, Daniel Mackey. I'm clearly not happy with the description that you have with, with the description that's been widely reported in the media as leader of the MPP Commons. According to me, still remains the majority leader. Yes. And there's been no set but once a court has made the pronouncement and restored the status quo, you don't say that I am saying you are the reporter. There have been two rulings confirming that. So don't continue to describe me as leader of MPP. Is that okay? Don't tell the public that I am claiming and that you don't know what it is. Unless you don't know why you are being caught. And I know why I'm being caught. No, no, no. So can you clarify? Yeah, but I've mentioned it clearly. That's what? That's what? That's what? That you are the leader of the MPP of the House. And even the Speaker of Parliament. The case which seeks to prevent the removal of four MPs due to their decision to go independent in the upcoming December 7th election was initially adjourned on October 30. Chief Justice Gertrude Tokonu had previously instructed the Speaker of Parliament, Alban Bagbin, to submit relevant documents by Wednesday, November 6th. This followed a request by the Speaker's lawyer, Tadia Sori, for additional time to consult with the Speaker and gather the necessary instructions. However, during the hearing on Monday, November 11th, Speaker Bagbin's lawyers did not file any legal documents and there was no legal representation present, prompting a strong disapproval from the Attorney General. Here is Joe Gatti speaking to the media after proceedings. To the business of, uh, I'm not a seer. Majority leader in parliament Alexander Fenyo Marking is accusing Speaker Bagbin of frustrating parliamentary on pass mediation efforts. Some of the NDC guys are trying to suggest that my ex me ex expressing my view on his conduct amount to disrespect. Let me say it clear. That I will be the last person, I repeat, I, Kwame Na Afrenyo Market, will be the last person to disrespect Mr. Speaker. But Mr. Speaker should not think that he's a king. He's an emperor. He's not an emperor. He's a democrat. Therefore, he shouldn't be too sensitive to divergent views and opposing views. What he's doing, in all humility, is wrong. So my friends in the NDC should open their eyes and ask themselves, if they were the ones at the receiving end, how would they react? The NDC would have raised hell on this matter. But we have been calm. I don't just jump the gun. I don't just get up to say things. MPP in Parliament is bleeding. We have gone through too much hell in the hands of Mr. Speaker. We just don't talk about it. We've managed the situation for far too long. And at this point, we would call on him, Mr. Speaker, that let us end the eighth parliament on a very happy and a very good note let's work together so the supreme court has deferred its ruling um, on
Please do well to like, comment, follow, put on notification bell so you get all our news. 